So I'm sure as many of you probably know, bull trout are a really awesome fish. Requiring cold, clean water and ample food sources, it really forces bull trout to live in some of the most incredible places that exist. And I mean, just look at that canyon. Isn't that just incredible? Deep valleys like this help create shaded river systems that maintain cool water throughout the summer months and help provide refuge for bull trout. And I'm gonna be spending several days down in that canyon trying to find a bull trout. This river system is foreign to me and I have little idea of what to expect down in that canyon and little idea of where the bull trout might be. But I pushed up high into the system. I have about a two mile hike down into the river and then a mile or two up river to the first good looking pools. And with that, I'm gonna get moving down the river and try and not get absolutely destroyed by the sun. So something I'm having to be incredibly careful about walking this particular river is the risk of rattlesnakes. This river has a very high density of rattlesnakes as well as bears and cougars. So a little bit treacherous but kind of fun. Especially since I'm solo, I brought a uh, walking stick with me to kind of poke around, feel around, um, and I'm just making my way down this trail super slowly so to try and minimize risk and uh, look ahead make sure there's nothing in front of me. And I've already seen a few bear tracks on the path, which is kind of cool actually. <laughs> but uh, they're around here, it's just something to be careful of. Not stop you from making adventures like this, but uh, yeah, just be mindful of it. All right, quick little update. So I was on my last little switchback right before I got down to the river down there. I was walking down the trail, walking through those bushes over there. Made a step and rattle. <laughs> so there's a rattlesnake hanging out in there. A little spooky, pretty spooky. It was right underneath me and uh, didn't rattle until I got right on top of it. And it was really dense foliage in there so kind of hard to see him from far away and just got unlucky but um didn't get bit but a little uh you know kind of reinforces the uh <laughs> the need to uh to be uh mindful on these trails and stuff and and uh drier climates like this So the water temp reads 62 degrees, which is not good, especially for bull trout. Um, luckily, this is a very uh, wide open area. This area recently burned not too long ago. So there really is a lack of tree cover and shade. So I think the sun, especially on a hot day like this, is probably heating up the river um, pretty good. But the goal is to not fish for these fish. I don't wanna put any stress on any potential bull trout or uh, other trout in here. I'm gonna hike upstream, hopefully get into some water that's near in the mid 50s. That's my goal. There's more trees, there's more shade, there should be deeper pools, there should be better bull trout water. So this is the first spot I hiked into. I just wanted to get a good grasp on uh, what the water temp is looking like, but um, hopefully we'll find some better water upstream. I have spent way too long on this river without having even strung up a rod. 
hiked up the river about another mile and a half. It's been pretty brutal. It got up to 105 degrees, uh, which it, it was terrible. I was having to take breaks every like 20, 30 minutes because I was just getting physically ill. I was drinking a lot of water, but it was just the heat. It was getting to me, but I digress. It's finally getting into the evening time. I'm at the first pool. Looks really good. I measured the water. It's at 56 degrees, so Fahrenheit. Hopefully not Celsius, <laughs> um, which I feel a lot more comfortable targeting bull trout in. It's a really good looking pool. I'm sure there's fish of some sort in there. I'm excited to figure out what uh, what's in there. So hopefully a bull trout, maybe some rainbows, maybe a whitefish, we'll see. All right, let's get them. There we go, there's a bull trout. Yes! <laughs> nice! Look at that. Woo! Let's go. That's so awesome. First fish of the trip, a bull trout, you know. It feels so good to know they're here after all the hard work that was put in today. Um, yeah, I feel like a, a little bit of a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I'm in the right spot. I have another day and a half up here. Feels good. <laughs> There's another bull trout. I just missed like a 23, 24 incher. It was huge. But I got a little guy. Has some bite marks on him, probably from one of the bigger bull trout in there. There he is. Got some little bite marks on him. All right, ran the streamer through there a bit. Got a few more bumps. I think they're all bull trout, but I had one fish that was probably 23, 24 plus inches on, flopping around down there, and another one that was really big as well. I, there's a lot of bull trout in there. I'm gonna set up a nymph rig now to run back through it with a different uh, presentation. And uh, who knows, maybe that one bull trout will bite again, or one of the big ones.
cool. There's our first rainbow. Had a big bull trout come chase him into the shallows. <laughs> He has bite marks on his side too. That's crazy. You know these poor rainbows are just getting destroyed in There we go. Nice bull trout. Yes, let's go. Oh my goodness, hook popped out right in the net. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. He came and ate it like four times. He chased it into the shallows. Wow. Nothing unbelievable, but I mean, it's in that 20, 19, 20 inch range. Just gorgeous fish. So incredible. This place is unreal. <laughs> Just landed two like close to 20 inch bull trout and two casts right here in the seam. Let's see if there's another one. Oh my gosh, you went airborne for it. That was incredible. That was ridiculous. There's another one. This is insane. Four big bull trout and four casts. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is in unreal. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my goodness. Look at that fish. This is some of the most insane fishing I've ever had in my entire life. I just hooked four 18 plus inch bull trout and four casts. And you'll see it on the video. Literally streamer hit the water and a bull trout went airborne for it. It was crazy. And the next cast, bam, instant. I, I, I don't know if I even want to throw another cast because it's like, it's too incredible. It's like, should I even poke any more fish? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I'm gonna throw just Maybe a few more casts. <laughs>
This is so stupid. It's every cast. It, literally, I have caught a bull trout my last 10 casts in a row. What are you doing? <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> See, watch how stupid this is. Hits the tree, in the water, strip, 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 strip. missed it, bam, got him. <laughs> this is how stupid this is, there you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally moving bull trout every single cast. This is insane. <laughs> this is so s insane. <laughs> bigger one, bigger one, that's a bigger one. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. That's a way big one. Wow. That's that's probably that 21, 22. Look at that fish. It's like a 22, 23 inch bull trout. All right, I'm gonna stop fishing for these fish. I definitely could catch some more. Uh, I don't wanna poke anymore. I'm kinda getting torn here. I don't know. This is, this is kinda some gray area for me. I wanna keep catching fish, obviously, and I wanna try and find a big bull trout. But, you know, with these fish, it's like you wanna be careful. You wanna limit your impact uh, the best you can. So I feel bad poking a bunch with streamers. Although, it's barbless, everything's safe. I didn't have one fish bleed on me, thankfully. Um, and I probably caught close to 20 bull trout, over 20 bull trout, um, but, or hooked into. I think what I'm gonna do when I catch these fish now is fish for them, hook them, and then if they're in that 16 to 20 inch range, I'll probably try and shake them off. If I can land some over 20, that's probably what I'll try and uh, keep on the end of my line, but um, you wanna be careful with these fish and Honestly, I never thought I'd be in this scenario where I'd have so many fish biting and uh, I don't know kind of gray area Let me know what you guys think uh, is a proper way to deal with something like this uh, in the comments if you don't mind Second day, I ended up setting up camp here last night. This is the spot I originally marked my map. Got really lucky with the hole being uh, actually insane for bull trout. But um, anyways, seeing as I only fished for about two and a half hours yesterday, not a whole lot of time, I'm pretty stoked to see what today could have in store. I really wanna hike around. There's some a lot of pools up river I really wanna explore. I wanna see some new area. But also, I really want to try and target a big bull trout. I think they're in here. I think there are some fish that could push that 25 plus inch range, which is big for me at least. Really so far, I'm just enjoying this beautiful canyon. Slept good last night and uh, ready to get after it again.
right, so I made my way up river another couple miles. It took me about an hour and a half, two hours from uh, my campsite. But I got here to the first pool. And what do you know? I walk over real carefully to the edge and I'm not even kidding you. I see probably two or three dozen bull trout sitting in a tail out. Some of the fish look to be in that 20 to 22 inch range. I think, I think I see one that's just huge in there though. And I haven't been able to, you know, confirm it yet, but this is a really good looking run. It runs up there about 15 yards. I'm gonna start here. I have a line of about four more pools upstream of me, not that far. So I should have a really good afternoon of fishing ahead of me. All right, so I got my camera set up, aimed at the tail out and some of the shallower water. The bull trout are sitting just right on the edge of where it gets deep, but I'm gonna see if I can't try and pull one out to come eat it in the shallows. It's really sunny outside right now, so I don't know if I'll be able to make it happen, but if I can get that on video, I think it'd look pretty darn cool. They just two ate it. There we go. That was sick. Please tell me I got that on video. <laughs> nice fish too. Let's go. Hook popped out right in the net. Another really pretty bull trout. That was really cool, but I completely missed the framing of it. <laughs> My camera was pointed way to the left. I don't think I got that on video, but I had two bull trout chase it there. I think I could get another one to come look at it. So we'll see if we can. Pull one. Oh my gosh, I just had like four chase it. <laughs> and they all spooked each other. There we go. Of course, it's all tangled up on my GPS. Oh yeah, let's go. Another beautiful bull trout. There we go. Another beautiful bull trout.
I made my way up to the top area where I wanted to fish today. Been fishing a lot of different water, trying some different runs, pools, little riffles, everything in between. I've really noticed that the bull trout have been in when you get a deeper pool that really mellows out and slows down. And typically those bull trout are hanging out in the tail out. I got two small buckets right here. I'm gonna give those a good shot. Start working my way back down river. But it was great seeing some new country. It's been awesome exploring this. I still have about a two hour walk back to uh, my campsite. But I mean, you can't beat the, uh, the beauty up here. All right, so finally got back to my camp where I'm gonna be staying the night again. The same bull trout hole where got into them really good yesterday evening. So um, I got a mountain house cooking up right now. I'm very hungry. Hiked probably six, seven miles today, but I'm gonna try and mess with these fish too much, but I am gonna throw a few casts in, see if there's anything I missed yesterday. There are a few big fish that chased my streamer last night that were a lot bigger than anything I landed, um, minus maybe the that 22, 23 incher. So maybe there's another one in there. Sometimes those fish are a little bit more wary, but uh, we'll give it another shot tonight. Give it a few casts, pack up, and head out tomorrow morning. All right, so morning number two, last morning out here. So I have a long hike ahead of me, and I really wanted to get out of here early to try and beat some of that midday heat that's been out here. But there is one more pool I wanna fish before I head back to my truck. So I'm gonna hike down to the hole we first started at. 
I missed a few big fish in there. I messed up on a few. Hopefully those fish have reset by now. It should be about perfect down there right now. It's about 7.30 a.m. I'm gonna hike down there, probably down there around 7.50, 7.55. Should be a little bit of sun on the water, but I don't think that's a bad thing for these fish. They'll be sitting down the tail out. I know where they're at. I should be set up for success. So we'll see if I don't mess it up. But uh, I wanna hit that last pool before we head out of here and call it a trip. But so far, it's been amazing. <laughs> Way more than I ever expected, honestly, at least in terms of numbers of fish. So it's been pretty cool. Made it back down to the last pool of the trip. It looks really good. It's absolutely beautiful outside. Have a little bit of that sun, but it's just creating long shadows. I don't think it's gonna be affecting the bull trout too much. So I think they're gonna be down in the tail out like they were last time. I'm gonna just run the streamer through there, see what we can pull out. Big guy by any means, but I think that'll be our send off fish. You know, these places are so incredibly special, it's really amazing that we still have any. Just to kind of wrap everything up, I did want to emphasize one thing you know, these places are very special, they're not a dime a dozen. Places like Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, they do not have a lot of these rivers left. And that's why I think it's really important to practice good ethics with these fish. But yeah, have fun out there. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This was a really fun one. I got about a three mile hike back out of here. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna take me a while, but I think it was more than worth it just to come down here and chase these special fish. So we'll see you.